1st July 1984, the second Huguanxiao gets crowned today, witnessed by hundreds, all eager to see and enthused by the prospect of a new beginning. The chosen Huguanxiao today is one named Tansri Joseph Pairin Kitingan. The people's murmur of excitement ripple through the wave of hundreds, feet shuffle as they get closer. A few clamor to the front as they await their chosen one when he is officially and ceremoniously installed as state and national Huguanxiao of the Katazan Dusuns. The office of the Huguanxiao is an institutionalized paramount leadership of the Khoisa'an. It is one of the fundamental and vital social institutions of the Karazan Dusun community. Huguan Xiao means paramount chief of the toughest, bravest, and most powerful core leader of a community. Derived from the words Huguan and Osio, the title represents inner strength that enables its bearer to endure and overcome all tribulations in life and especially as a leader. Such a leader is also one that's brave and invincible. In his book, Saba's Dilemma, Tan Sri Herman Lubin holds the Huguan Xiao in high regard. He is referred as a chief warrior, the prime individual of a community, otherwise called Pangazo. Now just titular, back in the day, Mostly before North Borneo's colonization, the Huguanxiao garnered respect from his prowess in war and for being defender of his people. As the paramount chief of the Karazan Dusun community, the person in the office of the Huguanxiao is highly respected and trusted by his people for his commitment to his word and for being responsible for and accountable over his actions, always with his people's welfare and interests at heart. The 50s and 60s was truly a search for the Karazan Dusun identity, where the dire need for a cultural and political leader with indigenous people's concern were sought after. They were looking for a Huguan Xiao to lead them to fight for recognition from the British, to be recognized as the original inhibitors of the land. Datu Dr. Herman Luping suggested that this could have been due to communication breakdown between the Karazan Dusuns and the white men. And this need was fulfilled by the rise of the late Tun Fuat Stevens. The first Huguan Xiao, Tun Fuat Stevens, formerly known as Donald Stevens, was born in Kudat on September 14, 1920. His father was an Australian and his mother a Kadazan Dusun. As a child, he traveled extensively throughout Sabah due to the nature of his father's work in the government service. He was a multilinguist, being able to speak English, Malay, Hakka, Cantonese, Kadazan Dusun, and Bajau, and was able to understand most of the Sabahan native dialects. Tun Fuat Stevens spoke the Orang Putis language, was well-educated, and was a nominated member of the Colonial Legislative Council. He was very influential, and his position was very strategic to bridge the communication gap between the Karazan Dusun and the British colonials. The now infamous Double Six incident, in which many lives were lost, plunged the Karazan Dusun community into a period of great mourning and despair. Parish ones included three prominent Karazan Dusun leaders. This mysterious tragedy also took the lives of other heroes like Huguan Xiao, Yang Ama Bohormat, Tun Fuat Stevens, the then Chief Minister of Sabah, Datu Peter Mojuntin, patron of KCA, and Datu Darius Binion, chairman of KCA. Through the anguish and devastation, the KDCA help the Karazan Dusun rise above their grief and loss and return anew. Responding to the people's needs and call, 
the KDCA put together the broken pieces from the rubble of the Sumbulan crash site, the Sunduan do Huguansio and Sunduan do Karazan Dusun were restored. 1976 was a significant year for the KCA in its expansion to what it is today known as the KDCA. The current year's caretaker and acting chairman of KCA, Datu Clarence E. Mansur, welcomed new blood into the KCA fold. One of the new recruits was one, Datu Joseph Paidin Kittingan. In the following year, 1977, leadership of the KCA was extended beyond its current domain of Penampang. The new KCA leadership's inclusion of the greater Karazan Dusun community saw to the election of a new chairman from fresh territory, Datu Joseph Paidin Kittingan was voted the new chairman. In his role as chairman, Datu Joseph Paidin Kittingan saw to it that KCA would be promoted throughout Sabah, ensuring the involvement, participation, and inclusion of all the diverse Karazan Dusun ethnicities as much as possible. Like so many legends and historical events, for every appointment and installation, there must be a provenance. The makings of the Huguan Sio has taken everyone involved on many paths. But for this story in particular, it really began in Tuavon, where Datu Joseph Pairing Kitingan was installed as the Huguan Sio II. Today, it is still seen as a place of importance and closely associated to the pomp and grandeur of the Huguan Sio installation all those years ago. In all these years, the Huguan Sio has withstood the test of time. As a symbol and figurehead of the people, he is a concept inspired by and for the people. But how far into the future he will prevail as an active inspiration and agent of change remains to be seen. Perhaps it's a question many hold an opinion on, but what is for certain is the constant presence of his Sunduvan in the very heart of the Karazan Dusun narrative. I think the role of the Hogan CEO is the same as any community leader, where he is responsible for maintaining our culture and also to sustain our heritage. He is our Kalazan Dusun community leader, or as we call him, like our Pemimpin Agom. He brings the people together, especially the KDMR people in Sabah, to unite with each other. The role of the Huguan Sio is to become the leader of the Kadazan Dusun community. I think we definitely need a leader, even in the 21st century, because at the end of the day, we are a community, and every community needs a leader. That is why we need our Hugon CEO. Whether it is in the 21st century or, let's say, another 100 years, as long as the Kalazan Dusun Committee exists, our Hugon CEO is still relevant. My hope for our current and future Hugon CEO is uh, to play a bigger role in our Kalazan Dusun community and to be actively engaged in our community, especially the younger generation, so that we can shape them into a better person for our community. I hope that the current and the future Hugon CEO will continue to unite the people of Sabah, not just Kadazan Dusuns, but every ethnic groups, because we are all children of the same land and we all call Sabah home.